guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Ulta haul. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I figured I would sit down and film this with you guys because I have not done a haul in so long. It's been forever. Also, you guys, I am still trying to figure out the lighting in here, my camera situation. So I have my camera on a different setting right now. So I'm not really sure how this lighting is. Hopefully it's okay. Also, I do have my lights on in back of me because it is really gloomy out today. And with those lights turned off, it's super dark in here. So I'm sorry if that's like annoying. I'm trying to like stay in front of it so that it doesn't get annoying, but it does add a little bit of extra light in here. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe down below and let's just jump right in. First things first is this hair crimper. It's actually how I styled my hair today. Um, I wanted to test it out today and this is what the results are. I actually really, really like it because it gives you a more kind of like laid back, kind of like looser crimp. Usually when I crimp my hair, it's like super, super crimped. What's really cool about these wavers is you can kind Kind of customize how you want your hair to be so I like to leave my ends straight because I like more of like a laid-back look you can definitely crimp your ends if you want it to be more of a wave also you can kind of switch directions to get kind of more of a, a textured look so far I really like this and I love the color of it um, I will have everything that I talk about linked down below but this is by the brand Bedhead. Bedhead, in my opinion, has the best crimpers. I have another crimper from them that's a little bit smaller than this, and I love that one as well. So if you are looking for a crimper, I definitely recommend the Bedhead brand because I've had really good luck with them. You can adjust how hot you want this to be. I, I personally do not put it on a super hot setting. I usually do like 300 because it is not necessary to have it all the way up to 400. I think that is way too hot. So highly recommend if you are looking for a new waiver. All right, next thing is pretty boring. It is just some shaving cream. Ever since I got pregnant, my skin is so sensitive. I don't know what it is, but anytime I shave, I get razor bumps. It's super itchy, super irritating. So I did want to get some shaving cream because usually I just shave with like regular soap. And speaking of shaving, I wanted to get a new razor because I think the one that I have is just done for and that's just probably irritating my skin even more. So I wanted to get some new shaving cream, a new shaver, and see if that helps. I don't know what it is, but my skin has just been super sensitive, and anytime I shave, I get razor bumps everywhere. And this is in the scent Pomegranate Raspberry. So we shall see if that does the trick. Hopefully it does. Next up, we have this product by the brand Cara Color, and this is their color conditioner. I actually love this product. I've gone through this completely. Um, I talked about this on my TikTok. I did a video like all about my hair color and so many people were asking what I use and I actually really like to use this in between coloring because it really gives my hair like a silvery kind of blonde vibe, which is what I like to go for. They actually have these in a bunch of different colors. So if you have blonde hair and you want like a pink hue, they have pink in this color. They have like rose gold. They, they even have like a brunette one. I don't know what that would look like on top of blonde hair but it cleans and conditions deposits color and maintains hues to prevent fading I just really really enjoy this it does have like a purple tint to it um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I love the smell of it as well. I only like to use this product like once a month, if that, because it definitely is strong. So if you are someone that has blonde hair and you really, and your hair tends to kind of fade to like a yellowy color, or if you have well water and it's kind of messing with the color of your hair, I highly recommend. This one is actually in the shade Platinum. They have a silver one as well. I just like to use the Platinum one because I feel like it just gives me the perfect amount of silvery tones without going like overboard. I like to use this for when I'm feeling like my hair just needs a pick me up. Um, really enjoy it. And this also is super moisturizing on my hair. It really makes my hair feel super silky and soft. So I really love this product. All right, I have been seeing this product for a while all over TikTok. This is by the brand Truly, and this is their Unicorn Fruit Whipped Body Butter. It's vegan, clean, high-performing, animal, cruelty-free. What I will say about this is it is such a gorgeous product when you first buy it. I actually used it so it's not as pretty anymore. What I love about this is honestly the packaging alone. It is just so gorgeous. It has like a a rainbow it has like a rainbow whipped texture I don't know if you guys will be able to see I feel like this 
camera is like washing this out completely but it is the most gorgeous kind of like rainbowy tones when you first buy this it is like so beautiful i did not even want to dig into it because i didn't want to ruin it but what i will say i was really surprised by the texture of this i thought it was going to be more of like a buttery texture it's kind of, it's really hard to explain. I don't really know the word to describe the texture. It's very, very thick. But once you grab some and you put it on your skin, it really heats up and kind of melts. I don't know if you guys can see that. It turns almost into like an oil. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference. Yeah, you definitely can. So it is like super oily. Some people complain that it's like kind of greasy, which I will say it does almost have kind of like a greasy, oily finish, but it does really moisturized like I don't know if you guys can definitely see the difference there it is super moisturizing and it gives your skin like a really pretty glow this would be really pretty like on your shoulders or like on your neck and the smell is just like a sweet kind of like cotton candy it smells identical to a perfume I cannot think of the name of it I will put it right here if you like the smell of that perfume you're gonna love this but if you are someone that does not like sweet smells do not get this product because it has a very strong like sweet smell to it so the texture is a little weird when you first kind of get it out of the jar but once it hits your skin and kind of heats up to the warmth of your skin it really is pretty moisturizing as you can see i can never leave ulta without grabbing a pair of lashes so these are the faux mink ardell wispies i just love the wispy lashes they're just you can't go wrong with them i actually have a pair on right now but i cut them so they're just like the end so i really love this style lash i love ardell lashes they're super affordable i reuse them over and over again I used to spend so much money on lashes but I end up losing them or one goes missing so I just like to buy the Ardell ones and just reuse them and they work fine all right next up I grabbed this it cosmetic superhero no tug gel liner they had a tester out in the store and it seemed super super creamy so I wanted to grab it but I actually got it in the color brilliant brown I have been loving the way brown eyeliner looks I ran out of my brown eyeliner so I wanted to try something new let me know if you guys have ever tried the it cosmetics eyeliner it seemed really really creamy so I will have to get back to you on that I also have been finding my eyes have been super irritated to certain eyeliners um, when I put eyeliner in my eyes will be watering all day long and this says it's their high impact smudge proof gel eyeliner so it's super long wear so I will definitely have to let you guys know how I feel about it next up I grabbed this NYX epic ink liner it is waterproof so the liner actually Actually just has like a brush tip right here and it's super pointy so you can get that like really precise nice winged liner I don't think I've ever tried this one either I've tried a few of the NYX eyeliners they have like all different ones but this one I wanted to try because of the brush tip I want to see if I like it and this one claims to be waterproof which is why I wanted to try it because like I said my eyes have been watering I don't know if it's because of the summer and the heat so I wanted to play around with the waterproof version and see how I like it you guys Ulta finally stocked up on the elf putty blush I've been wanting to try this blush for so long they were out of the Turks and Caicos shade which is kind of more of like a peachy shade I really wanted to try that one but this one is in Bora Bora and it's infused with argan oil and vitamin E I've seen so many good reviews about this and I have been loving cream products because they're just so easy to apply in the summertime. You just kind of put on some cream bronzer, cream blush, a little cream highlight, and you're like good to go. I just love the look of it. So this one is, they're kind of like pinky shade. So let me touch it. It feels really creamy and it looks like it's going to be nice and pigmented so that is what the color looks like it looks like a pretty like dolly pink color which i think is so pretty so i'm really excited to play around with this let me know if you guys have tried the um new elf blushes and if you guys like the formula they also have bronzers or like contour cream products so i want to try that as well but those were completely sold out there were no there was only like one or two shades that were way too dark for me so let me know if you guys have tried 
the bronzer. I've been really loving um, Jaclyn Cosmetics' new cream bronzer. I have it on right now. I posted a video trying out some of her new products, so I will leave that link down below if you want to go see that. All right, so next up, I grabbed the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. The main reason why I grabbed this is because I saw that they were discontinuing this and turning it into a 30-hour wear. So this is their 24-hour wear, which I think I've tried this before and I really, really liked it. Once I moved and I went through all my makeup, I could not find this foundation anywhere. So I wanted to repurchase it before they get rid of it. I actually did put this on my face today and I really like it. I will say the color is off by like a little bit. It has kind of like a pinky undertone to it and I like more of like a neutral undertone. Um, this is in the color Nude Beige 125. It is the only color that they had left so I figured I would get it. It doesn't really work if I'm super super dark I don't think but for right now it worked pretty good. So it has a really nice finish to it and has really good coverage. So I cannot believe they would come out with one that's 30 hours. I don't really know who's wearing their foundation for 30 hours. That means you're that means you're literally sleeping with your makeup on and going on with the day wearing it. I just think that's insane. Even 24 hours is insane to be wearing foundation. So I don't know why they turned the 24 hour wear into the 30 wear, but I feel like they should have just stuck with the 24 hour. It works amazing. I don't know why they had to like one up it. Sometimes it's better to just leave the product the way it is because people love this foundation. I don't know why they would do that but if you guys have tried the 30 hour wear let me know how it compares to this one. If it looks the same or what the difference is let me know down below because I'm really curious. And then the last product that I grabbed is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector. It's their 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It says it's a primer, concealer, highlighter, and a BB cream. And this is in the color 1 Light. I believe the next shade number 2 was like a little too dark for me. So I just grabbed number 1. I actually put this on underneath this foundation. And I will say I'm actually really liking the way that this looks on the skin. It is one of those products that you twist. Kind of annoying and definitely unsanitary as you can see. I've used this once and it's already covered in makeup. I would say this definitely is pretty translucent when you put it on your skin. I have a lot of freckles on my skin right now and it didn't cover any of those. It's not meant for like coverage, but it definitely gave my skin like a nice even tone. It gave it a really pretty glow, which is what I really liked. So I'm definitely going to be playing with this more. I think it'll be really pretty to wear on your face if you just want to throw on like a cream blush, a little bit of concealer, and this. I feel like that would be such a pretty kind of like quick outdoor summer look. So I really like this so far. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up from Ulta. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, what you think about them. For those of you guys that have been subscribed to me know um, that I am nine months pregnant and my due date is actually August 8th. I don't know when this video is going to be going up. I am patiently waiting for this baby to come, you guys. It is getting so close. So this might be the last video that I upload until the baby's here or who knows you just never know um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that in case I don't post a video for a little bit that is probably why also I just wanted to update you guys on my belly because I am going to be 39 weeks on Sunday and it is currently Thursday so we are right at the home stretch this is what my belly looks like and now we just wait. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video whenever that is.